Right, I have to warn you now, there's not going to be a whole lot that happens um, in this part. It's largely just going to be getting the EC machine and having a little chat. Look, Crown Zalus' pad. Um, but, um, yeah, let's let, let's have um, Zalos talk to everyone. So he's talked to a child, a middle-aged woman, and an old lady. Nice to know that um, Zalos has no standards whatsoever. Right. I'm not surprised, Corinne. I mean, it is just sort of mean. I love how sort of they are, um, just shunting in these little messages, like, down with animal experimentation and stuff. But, I think, um, the Tales of franchise is pretty good at sort of just looking at the human aspect of things. Well, I say the human aspect of things, we're talking about animal cruelty, but it's it, sort of like it deals with sort of the emotions and things that sort of we recognise and, um, deal with and kind of brings home the, uh, the emotions and stuff. Hey, it's Sebastian! Unfortunately, he's not a crab. And he's not gonna sing under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's with a dig it from me. Yeah, he, he, he's not gonna sing that, unfortunately. Well, I'm assuming we probably could get him to sing it if, um... We ord if Zalos ordered him to. No, of course not. We'll have to look at the pretty flowers. Even if they are a bit plain. Tributes from your honeys. Okay. You really do have some weird, um, things. Oh, look! This clearly isn't the Wonder Chef. It's clearly his cousin, the... Thunder Wef? What? I don't know. Oh, well, uh, we're just looking how to make a fruit cocktail. Guess it kind of fits that you find it in Zelos' house, considering how fruity he is. Aw, oh, Jesus has got a crush. Aw, oh, adorable. Um. Well, let's leave the awkward lovebirds alone. Um, not a whole lot to do now other than just talk to Sebastian and go to bed. This is why you shouldn't go stay at the inn, because you'd be forking out a load of money to go stay at the inn, and you just get healed for free right here, so, yeah. Claire's. And that never gets brought up again. <laughs> now, I think I saw a lady over here, yes, let's go talk to her. Madam Square H. Yes, this is perfectly normal name, that. Perfectly normal name. <laughs> oh, it's pudding! Right, um... Let's bring Sheena back into... I like having Sheena in the party. It, it, it's fun.
because um, it, 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 it's not often that um, let me it gives you more chance to get the uh, summer spirits in battle, which is always awesome. I think that's one of my goals. Try and get every single um, summon spirit some shown off in battle in this game. In the walkthrough, play through. I should say it's not a walkthrough. If it was a walkthrough, I'd be doing the um, extra dungeon, and I'm not because it's just no. It's not happening. Oh, okay. Right, so we've got to go to the Grand Tethyala Bridge and go down. Okay, right. What? Right, the flap is a wing, wing pack. I am not surprised that Corinne still hates you. You should not be doing experiments on it, on Corinne. Corinne does not deserve that. Anyway, well, the only way that we can get out is um, through the sewers again. Joy. mean to get... oh... Please don't say I've missed that skip forever. Is he gonna turn up again? Doubt it, anyway. Quick jump. Love quick jump. It's an amazing little tool that, um, is ever so useful. Um, in Tales of the Dawn of the World, yeah, Dawn of the New World, there's actually a skit, um, which breaks the fourth wall, really, um, I can't remember who says it, but someone says... Why don't we quick jump? And all the characters are like, what? what? Quick jump? I think it might be Colette, actually. And she's like, yeah, me and her journey's so much easier last time. I'm just like completely confused as to where I'm going. I, I, I thought he said sort of down the side of the... Somewhere. I don't know. Basically, where you're meant to go is the Grand Tethyala Bridge, and then down the side. Um, but I'm an idiot, so I didn't think of that one. Bottom of the right staircase, okay, um, fair enough. Let us away! Yes, totally useful for something, for certain things. So, oh, I've just thought we should never have. Well, there's only one reason to come back to this damn bridge. Oh, yes, ah. There's only one reason to come back to the bridge, and that's a mini game. I will try and do it, but that's it. Yes! Oh! Wow.
I don't know, Rain. Why do you feel like you've seen that before? Yes! On a fist pump. That, that, that's how you get it out. You go, boom! Boom! Yeah, it should be fun. Poor Rain. <laughs> I like that pose, pose that Sheena just did. That was quite awesome. Sheena should really get involved with a um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney because then she just go OBJECTION! <laughs> We've been using Nundini a lot recently, haven't we? Whew! She's probably knackered out by now. She's like, why do you keep calling me? I just want to sleep, man. Just need to chill. Anyway, the EC, um, you can only go from peers, um, use the A button to move forward, and you can tilt back, forward and back, and left and right, and so on and so forth. And B to disembark. This, um, track here, it's called Trip on the Ship. The, 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 these, these names are just brilliantly creative, aren't they? Yes, that, 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 that's the journey we needed to make. That was all it was. Totally amazing, but now. <laughs> but let's go into Cyber. Are you trying to take Colette away? I have no intention of fighting you inside the city. Now this right here you is Kratos' theme, which is me. pretty damn awesome. Don't insult me! I merely speak the truth. What a dick. Chosen one, if you wish to live, you must remove that worthless key crest. No, I'm never taking it off. Lloyd gave this to me. Foolish sentiments. He wasn't after Colette? How weird. Man, what an arrogant SOB. Totally. Talk as if he knows everything. While what a son of a bitch. Ways of talking, why don't you do something about the vulgar language? Oh. Sorry, Sheena. <laughs> anyway, Lloyd, we must go see this Kate person. Yeah, let's get going. Anyway, let's go see Kate. Prove that um, we have been good. That we kept our word and saved Genius and Rain. No, no, Sherlock. Of course it's us. The Angelus Project? Oof! Right. Poor Prisea. It's horrible. Okay. Bloody Pope. A 
Okay. Let's go for the Garokia Garachia? I don't know. Garokia Forest. Right, um, yeah, let's go back out this exit. It's rather not get caught. Might get us in trouble. I don't, I don't know how that lady, that girl misses us. Just say it's just getting out the sewers. It's totally normal, isn't it? <coughs> oh, Toby. Now, as um, there was the uh, training cutscenes with Kratos that you could do earlier. Now, if you were at, from this point onwards, there's a few scenes where you can see what Kratos has been up to. Uh, first one that you can get is by uh, talking to this girl here. Excuse me? Huh. Let's check it out. Totally use the mirror address, it's just much easier. So let's talk to Kate again! Oh, just making her do the circle, just totally. Adamantite? <laughs> Weird. Interesting. I'm sure we'll find some more stuff out about Kratos as we go along our journey, but um Yeah, that's about it for Cyback. Um we need to head for the Garokia Forest. Or Garokia. I don't know, and to be perfectly honest, I don't care. It's a, it's a weird named forest. Yeah. <laughs> Let us away!